What's up with YouTube? It's your girl Lola and I am back again with another video. Hey babies. So yeah you guys, I'm back again with another video as y'all see in the title. But yeah you guys, I'm back again with another video. Right now, before we get into this video, let's make sure y'all subscribe and make sure y'all click that notification bell and make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, comment down below how y'all feel when the video is over or right now. Before we get to the video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Matter of fact, make sure y'all do all the three of those before we get into this video. But as y'all can see, I got my handy dandy wrap right here. This is the wrap that I've been having since I had my baby. If y'all don't know, I've been using this wrap. But let's wrap my stomach, you guys, because what we finna do is some freaking exercises. But yeah, that's the first thing I always do is wrap my stomach and I do it as tight as I can so I can get that secure that I need. Make sure it's all the way on this side and I wrap it all the way around until I get that tight feeling that I want. Yeah, secure. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? This is how I want my stomach to be, you guys. I want my stomach to be very flat. And I want to gain thighs and booty. As y'all guys see, I want to gain thighs and booty with a flat stomach. And also, I want to gain some hips, you guys. But in order to do that, I got to do my squats every day. And I got to be consistent. So let's get done with these squats, you guys. And basically, today I'm going to be doing some squats and some booty lifting exercises. You know what I'm saying? Maybe just squats and booty lifting, kickbacks. But yeah, you guys. But yeah, let's get right into the video, you guys. I have my 10-pound weight, as y'all see right now. I'm not going to be doing too much exercise on my arms because my arms are getting big like I want them to be. I already they getting the size. But also, I'm going to still be doing arm exercises and different stuff. But right now, I'm focusing on my freaking booty and thighs. That's all I'm worried about, you guys, because... That is where I want to gain my weight at. And then I also need to pick up my pounds of eating more calories and taking in more calories and stuff like that. And also, you guys will really gain my appetite back. I didn't tell you guys what gained my appetite back. What gained my appetite back was iron pills, you guys. Y'all need that iron in y'all body, you guys. I promise you, this is what helped me gain my weight. Was these pills right here? Yeah. Y'all can get these pills at Family Dollar, Walmart, CVS, behind the camp, anywhere. But anywhere, Dollar General, like y'all literally can go anywhere to get iron pills. Like literally y'all. It helps with a lot of things. It may support heart and nervous system health. Overall, it just it just make it just made my appetite get gained back for some reason, y'all, for taking iron pills. I was like tired a lot, sleeping a lot, and drained a lot. I don't know because of me or like getting into it with my baby's father and stuff like that. But you know, it just, I don't know y'all. It just took away all my appetite and it just brought me down to where I couldn't even freaking eat y'all. But iron pills will make me eat more and gain my appetite back. I can't do not everybody body different. Everybody don't feel the same way or people might not agree to what I'm saying. But I promise you guys that what made me like literally start back eating more and gaining more weight and like having more energy overall. Yeah, I just don't understand. Like, I was not like energized like I am like at first. See, I took my arm pill this morning and then now I'm, I just, I have so much energy and all that y'all. And then I actually slept longer today. Like, hold on, they back, let me see. Okay guys, so let's start with the squats. I'm gonna be doing 50 squats. I'm going to try to do 25 and 25, but let's get right into this video, you guys.
guy, I'm so freaking exhausted. I literally just did 50 squats. Whew. That was a good workout. Oh, yes. Now I'm doing leg kickbacks. And these to work on my legs. As y'all guys can see, before I started exercising, I did not stretch because I feel like my muscles and my body is getting used to the routine that I've been doing. So I feel like I didn't need to stretch, but it's never too late. I can stretch because my muscles are tight and you know what I'm saying? Just feel like I need to stretch. Let me stretch down right here. Oh, it hurts. I just feel all the pain all in the back of my thighs. Whew. I actually need this. So I'm reaching down little by little until I like least feel the pain. And I just feel all the pain in my back of my muscles, my thighs the most because they tighten up overnight. And I'm gonna stretch on this side for at least one minute. And I'm gonna do the other side for one minute in the middle for one minute. Now it's time to stretch in the middle. I have this thing so freaking tight to where it's bending. I have another one coming so I can have a better one and stuff so I can be extra secure. I'm gonna still use this one, but I'm gonna put the other one around me also, you guys. I'm trying to get that slim belly. Oh, it's just, I feel the pain, you guys. It just hurts so freaking bad. My muscles are really tight. Whew. As I'm slowly bending down more and more, I'm rubbing the back of my legs, like kind of like massaging them, like gripping them and stuff, and rubbing them really hard. Whew. And if you guys not sore and not feeling any pain after one or two days after y'all did y'all exercises, then I'm absolutely telling you guys that it's not working. But if you guys really used to it, then of course it's working. This is something you have to get your body used to in order for you not to be as sore every day. But man, I'm telling you, it's just, huh. it's a lot. And I'm also stretching you guys to each side. No, I'm not hurting where I'm rubbing, I'm just rubbing. Okay, let's stretch to the other side. This is to stretch my body and stuff, you guys. But yeah. Time for my 10 pound weight workout.
as you guys can see, I did 25 more squats. Whew, when I tell you guys I am in pain and I'm exhausted. But like I said, I came on the camera with plenty of energy to give to you guys and let you guys see my routine, exercise routine, working on my booty and thighs. Whew. It just feels so freaking good. Now it's time to hold my leg back as far as I can and hold it. Let me turn around. Just hold my leg back so I can stretch the front of my thigh. This is just to, you know, give my thigh extra, like stretch so I want. My muscles won't tighten up in them, so it won't be hurting and stuff. I swear, that pain is a different kind of pain. When I tell you, I had my baby's father to massage my legs last night, and I'm telling you, every touch, every pressure you put down on it, it was unbearable. I swear, that's some hurtless pain. I swear it hurts so bad. When your muscles tight and you must try to massage them, baby, nah, that's why I have to do this every day to help my body can get used to it and stuff like that. But I feel like I stretched this side good enough. And now it's time to move to the other side. I just love the feeling of being my muscles stretching and stuff because I just feel like my muscles are tightened up and it's like giving me a different shape in my thighs. That's something I like. And this is making my body look toned up also, you guys. Whew. Okay, you guys, now, this is another exercise that I do. And right here, this is work on my hips and my booty. Cause as I'm doing this, I'm actually tightening up my butt. And also, you guys, my butt do sit on my back. So when I get in shape, y'all gonna see that glow. And y'all gonna see how my booty looks, it's how different it looks. But yeah, this is what I do, you guys. It actually like makes my butt right here, like makes it sit up more. I feel like this is a good exercise to really like push your butt up and out. And also these right here, squeezing your booty cheeks together, that is a good exercise. That helps your butt tighten up and sit up more. It helps your butt and your legs also. As you're bending, you feel like you feel the muscles in your legs stretching. And also, once you stand up, you squeeze in. And that would help your butt firm and you know poke out or whatever, however you want it to get. But yeah, that is my secret. And also, this is work, this works on my stomach, but also it works on my front leg part, cause as you're twisting, you feel the stretchness in the front of your thigh. And also it works on your, your back, like the lower back, your little handles. It works on that also, you guys. But now it's time for the butt kickback. So I'm gonna do 10 on each side, you guys. I lean against the wall like this and I keep my foot up like this. Let's see, because that's my packages that I'm going to be opening like this. that I already been working out, so I am very exhausted, you guys. So, yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell. But yeah, you guys, 
This is the outcome and the look after I exercise.